In this video, we're going to learn the basics of working with blocks in the page builder. Let's start by heading over to our blocks menu here in the top left and clicking that open. Once that's open, we're going to see a list of block categories available for us to use. So we'll select hero banners and then inside the hero banner category, we'll get a list of the blocks that we have available. We can have a look through those and see the different styles and when we see one that we like, we can click and drag and drop that onto our canvas. Once the block is on the canvas, we can move our mouse around and we'll start to notice a blue outline appearing on the block. This is showing us uh, where we are able to click and the elements that we're able to edit. So for example, we can click the heading element and you'll notice that over in the styles panel here on the right, uh, we have the title corresponding to the element that we've selected. Uh, and we can go ahead and do some styling of that element here underneath the, uh, the panels. Uh, also, when we click an element, we get a menu that appears here on the top right. The first uh, menu option over here on the left is the up arrow icon. This allows us to select the parent element of the element that we currently have selected. So for example, if we were to click that on the heading here, we will notice that over on the right, uh, it's changed to box. Now in most of the uh, blocks that we have available in the page builder, we've wrapped a box around a lot of the elements. And this can become useful uh, for styling purposes. So for example, while we have this box selected, uh, on this heading, we can go and apply a background color and then we can apply some padding and that will give us some, some space within the, uh, within the box. So we can have a look here and add some to the bottom and then we can go and take away our margin from the heading there so uh, the uh, spacing is equal and then we can give that a little bit of margin bottom on the box itself. And you'll see there, that's a simple way to apply some color to make a heading stand out on top of an image or something like that. So that's how we would use the up arrow to select parent elements to cycle through the elements on the actual block. The next uh, menu item we see here is the drag and drop icon. So if we click and hold that, we can start to drag and drop and reposition this element within the block and we can drag that heading down to the bottom underneath the button or we can just drag that back up to the top like so. The third icon here is the clone or copy icon and so uh, this becomes quite useful when we want to clone an element so for example a common one would be a paragraph so we can just copy that and do that multiple times and we'll start to get more text there. A, another uh, way you would use this would be to clone the button. So for example, we can clone that and just add a little bit of margin right to that. And now we have two buttons sitting here side by side, which is quite nice. The last uh, menu item we'll see here on this little uh, menu here is the trash can. And that allows us to delete an element, which is quite simple. We can just click that and remove an element from the canvas. Next, we can start to bring some individual elements onto our canvas. So we can head up here to the menu and click open the elements menu here. Now, the difference between blocks and elements, blocks are sections that sit on your canvas. Elements are items that sit within blocks. For example, you've got some headings here. Uh, you've got media, image and video. You've got text, so you can drag a paragraph onto the block. Uh, so this way you can start to build a bit of a custom block uh, with the elements that you require. So for example, we can uh, select an image and again, we're just going to drag and drop this onto our canvas into our block where we want it to sit and we'll see that instantly an image appears here. Uh, so images are simple to work with. We can just double click that image and our image library will pop up and that allows us a few options. We can either upload an image to our library and use it from there or we can select unsplash and have a bit of a search for an image in the unsplash library and when we find one we like we can just double click that and you'll see that that instantly just appears on our canvas ready for us to edit over here in the sidebar so we can remove that 
One uh, nice function to use when using individual elements is to toggle the grid. So if we click uh, this grid button here, we can start to see an outlines appear on the page. And what this is showing us is the underlying structure of the block. So we can see here the outlines around each element, the outlines around the grid within the block that's, that's giving the structure. And this can be handy when we're trying to build our uh, custom block with uh, different elements and we want to know where we should and shouldn't uh, drop an element. So for example, we can just pop a button there and that will work nicely. Uh, but if we go and drop it over here, that might not turn out so well. So what we can see uh, here is that we can start to undo or redo. So for example, if we make a mistake, we can just click undo and we can do that once more. Uh, but if we want that button back, we could just say redo and that will bring it back for us, which is nice and simple to use. Okay, so we can go and toggle that off again and get our canvas nice and clean. So let's go and add some more blocks to our uh, canvas here and build out our page a little bit. So let's uh, get a featured image underneath the hero banner here. And that looks nice. Then we can add a call to action. Let's go and grab one here with a box and some content. And we'll just pop that underneath our featured image here. And that will appear like so. Now, as you start to build out your page, you might want to reorder some of your blocks. And so what we can do is just head over here to the layers panel. And once we open the layers panel, we will we'll see a high level overview of the page and, and just the sections. So we've got three on our page at the moment. We've got a hero banner, we've got a featured image and a call to action. And let's say we wanna pop that call to action right at the top. Uh, we can just drag and drop that and we'll see now here on our canvas, the call to action at the top. Now, we don't want that at the top, so we might reposition that again, uh, just here underneath the hero. Uh, and there we go. So let's say that we don't want that call to action at all uh, and we wanna delete that from the canvas. So to delete a block from the canvas, we're gonna click anywhere here in the space and we're gonna bring up this block content uh, label that you see there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over here to the top right and click the up arrow and that will give us our menu for the whole block here. So we can just press the trash can icon and delete that block from our canvas, nice and simple. Now let's say that we've gone ahead and uh, built a page with a bunch of blocks and we really don't like the direction it's heading and we just want to start again. So a simple way to do that is just to head up here to the top menu and click on clear. And that will just confirm with us so that we don't automatically delete everything and we can just say yes, we want to clear it. And that will give us a nice clean canvas to start again. And that's how easy it is to work with blocks in the page builder.